Hello everybody, it's happy full moon. I hope everybody is doing wonderful. Let me get that adjusted. <sighs> we'll give you a couple of minutes for everybody to get on and I don't know how excited you guys are, but this is such a crazy powerful moon. So I don't know about you guys, but I've been feeling it for days and days and days. So take a big, fat, deep breath. Those of you who are, you know, joining us from your day, joining us from your, um, from your place, I just want you to take a couple of deep breaths and we're gonna start here in a couple minutes with a clearing. Hold on, let me grab a couple things. Taking a deep breath in and exhaling. So I hope that you're feeling all the magic in the air, but I know we're also feeling, I've heard a lot of people talking about um, fatigue, empath fatigue or um, COVID fatigue, um, but I also think it's the super moon, you know, we forget that the supermoon has this powerful energy field and it allows us to um, it allows us to really go inside and so this is um, yesterday was the five five some of you may be watching this um, over the next coming days this ritual will be good this activation will be good all the way through the weekend um, so I'm actually doing this on Wednesday evening and if you're watching this later um, the full moon is actually on Thursday morning so I was not willing to get up at 6 a.m. for you guys I love you but I don't love you that much so I'm prepping it ahead of time but you will still feel the magic Thursday evening, Friday evening, even into Saturday. So, so you get a full moon for three full days. And this is in a moon in Scorpio. So it's kind of like death and magic and true esoteric things. And it is Beltane. Um, I know we celebrated, we celebrate Beltane at the, um, the last day of April through the second day of May but the ancients would have actually celebrated Beltane at the full moon in May. So this is what we would call the full Beltane, lunar Beltane. So for me, this is a very powerful day in that we had the 5-5 five, five activation, we're in the master year, we're in the middle of this sacred pause that's happening on the planet. Um, we're in the middle of this um, new and um, extremely powerful awakening that's happening. And so I want you to give yourself, you know, some, some slack if you've been feeling the need to go inward or if you feel the need to go outward and you just can't, so there's a frustration going on. I want you to be gentle with yourself. But if you're feeling like this is a time to up your practice, if this is a time to deepen your spirituality, it's because at least half the world is awakening and half the world is shutting down. So this shutdown, it is the veil between the worlds. So in the spring, we have the fairy realm awakening here in this, this hemisphere. And we have the spirit realm and the ancestors crossing over in the other half of, of the planet. And with the actual death toll being higher, um, at this this time than maybe any other Beltane we've, we've certainly lived through, we can feel this veil. I don't know about any of you, but I feel the veil actually very, very thin. And the sacred sites right now are having this opportunity for stillness. Um, I've been in contact with somebody that's actually been walking the Glastonbury tour every day and I've been in contact with somebody who's been um, the caretaker of the Chalice Well and, and I'm watching um, someone who 
He's taking photographs of the Great Pyramids. And these sacred sites all over the planet are feeling the stillness. They're allowing this, this pause to come into their into their awakening and being. So the so the planet is healing right now and it feels the sacred pause and this veil is very magical. So you can tap into this if you choose. So essentially you get a choice right now to move past the the energy of um frustration, anxiety, worry, and fear. And I too have had it. Um, I literally had to have uh, a clearing done by another person, and, which I'm super grateful for because sometimes we just have a little bit of a hard time clearing ourselves. So even before we start the ritual today, I wanted to really start with a clearing. So taking three deep breaths, and as always, I always stretch my neck there's a lot of energy in Taurus right now, and then Taurus rules the neck. So, you know, if you need to roll your head around, roll your shoulders, I want you to like align your spine and take a deep breath. And I want you to relax into this, allowing yourself to feel your energy return back to you. So we're gonna call your energy. And so this is a transmission. So the, my words and my energy um, are gonna help you bring all of your, your soul fragments back to you. So I want you to go ahead and, and just feel all of you returning back to you. Feel yourself coming back into your own body. Re bring all of your energy from anywhere you've sent it, whether you were worried for someone, whether they were worried for you. So you're calling all of you back to you and maybe you've jumped out of your body. Maybe you have felt this energy leave your body where you don't wanna be here on this planet right now. So we call that energy back to you too, that you are fully present in your body and we're calling in the energy back to you. And at the same time, we are commanding all energy that is not yours to be removed from your body. Let us let go of all the waywards, the fallens, the negative energy, the group consciousness, all the energy that is not yours. Let's let that go and send it into the light to be transmuted, to be replaced cleaned, cleared, and refill your energy field. Restore your energy field, filling your heart, your mind's eye, the base of your spine. Just fill it up with light. And so we're going to start to the east. As we start opening up and lighting a little bit of sage, I'm going to light some sage here. And I want you to go ahead and feel the smoke, the essence of air, cleaning and purifying you, cleaning and purifying your home, cleaning and purifying your heart, allowing your hands, your feet, your neck, your shoulders, your body, to release the negative energy. So you can even literally push any negative energy into the smoke. And we're gonna call upon the east, to the air, to the winds. We invite the wind and the air and the east into our circle tonight. And as we do this, we wish you hail and welcome. And as we move to the south, we light our sacred flame. 
we light our beautiful candle of love. Got a love candle. This is Beltane, sacred pink moon. The flower moon. And we call upon the element of fire. We ask that this fire burns bright with us as this moon burns brightly into the night. We hold the sacred flame. We hold it in our heart. We hold it in our mind's eye. We hold it in our belly as the moon, I can see the moon just rising in the sky. The super full moon, the Scorpio full moon rising. We ask for the south and the flames of fire and the flames of passion to be with us here tonight. We wish you have and welcome. And as we move to the power of the West, we open up to the sacred essence of water and we invite the intuition as we anoint, I'm anointing my hands, I'm anointing my forehead, and I'm anointing my heart. If you're there, you can anoint your feet and any other point that you wish to anoint. And I'm using rose. This is just the flower moon, and it's this blossoming of lunar beltane. And I call upon the water and the west to be with us here in our sacred circle. And last but never leastly, I call upon the earth, the north, the element of stability, the element of Gaia, the mother, be with us here tonight. As we bless this earth we bless ourselves and we bless all that walk on this planet sending healing light out to all and at this moment i cast this circle in the etheric field i cast this circle as you lay your right hand up and your left hand down and we touch each other as if we are in a sacred circle, feeling your brothers and sisters in the circle. And bringing your hands together and bringing that back into your heart, placing the sacredness of this circle into your heart as we connect to the etheric realm, we connect to the realm of spirit, and we connect to our hearts, and we connect to the deep plane of Mother Earth. And imagine bringing the energy up like a magnet through the base of your spine, through your tailbone, into your body, all the way to your heart. Bring that energy all the way to your heart. I want you to actually activate that base of your spine, activate your heart, and bring that energy all the way to your mind's eye. And connect to that heartbeat that's within the planet. Connect that heartbeat all the way to your own heartbeat as you feel the essence of your heartbeat and the heartbeat of the planet becoming one and the same. And as we do that, we send out healing light to each and every heartbeat that is on this planet. We feel the heartbeats of the animals, the trees, all the spirits that walk this planet, the people, of every continent, of every land on this earth. And we send healing and enlightenment and joy that we may rise up out of the fear, the anxiety, and the stress. That we may come together into the ascension and let's take our energy higher into the grid. We're gonna work tonight with the energy of the flower of life. One circle opens up to the next circle, 
opens up to the next circle. And I just want to have you envision yourself three feet or 10 feet or a thousand feet above your head, however you want to see it, go up above and connect to the grid of all the higher selves. Connect to your highest soul self, connecting to the flower of light, the flower of life, and the flower of life becomes the light, and you become the light within. Activating, energizing, and becoming your soul self, incarnating into the grace and ease and love and joy of who you really are. And so we activate and decide in this moment to be all and to be one. And I want to take you through an etheric plane. As you reach this plane, I want you to imagine that you are in a beautiful glade, a forest, that there is a river or a, or a little bit of water running through this forest. And there's trees and animals and birds. And you hear the water flow and you hear the animals. And you see the green, the deepest, richest green that you've ever seen. And a field of flowers. You are just covered in a field of flowers lilies and violets and my own personal favorite white violets maybe there's rose bushes maybe there's lilies of the valley there's tulips and daffodils there's all the flowers in bloom and it is so so green and the water is so so blue and maybe there's a hill or maybe there's a forest. Maybe it's woodland, but wherever it is, everything is in bloom. And I want you to take a moment and I want you to really think about the fact that you are in bloom. You are a flower. The top of your head is opening. You are rising with the energy from seed into bloom. What is the wish that you are bringing into fruition at this time? What is it you're igniting with the fire from within? What is it you're bringing into life in these days? So take a moment and go into the next three to six months and see what it is that you are bringing to fruition. Feel it taste it. I'm so grateful and thankful that this is in my life now. Take a moment and activate it with the power of this moon. Some of you are manifesting new love. Some of you are manifesting self-love. Some of you are manifesting work to return. Some of you are just manifesting an emergence be able to come out and go back to emerging from your cocoon. Are you a great butterfly? Are you a great fairy? Are you a great spirit? How do you see this? How do you see yourself? Allow this activation to bring you into being. Feel your connection both above and below. Feel the connection of the field below you as you are connected to the field of the heartbeat of the planet and every other heartbeat on this planet. And connect to the moon, allowing yourself to be bathed in the white beautiful light of the fullest moon. It's closest to the earth. It's the third 
super moon in a row. Bring that energy in, bathe it through the crown of your head. Imagine it washing away everything that you're holding on to and letting that go. Just releasing, bathing in the energy of the full moonlight, bathing in the energy, allowing the goddess from above to wash over you, allowing you to connect with your own inner goddess or your own inner God. Allowing yourself to connect to the codes of sacred union. So here we reunite with our beloved within. Love into yourself. Love yourself fully. Forgive yourself if you are mad because you've overeaten or felt frustrated or made actions that were not best for you. Recommit to loving yourself. I forgive you, I love you, and I set you free. If you're angry, frustrated, mad at anyone on this planet, maybe it's the government, maybe it's, maybe it's the virus itself, maybe it's something that's just out of your control, I forgive you and I love you and I set you free and I set myself free. I set myself free from the negative emotion and I reclaim my sovereignty. I want you to imagine the crown of light, the crown of stars coming into your heart, into your mind, into your light. This is the sacredest full moon. Allow yourself to be in sacred union. Allow the sacred codes of freedom, expression, allow the codes of blooming and light to come in. See yourself in this sacred field or the sacred glen and see if there is a message here for you. Maybe there is a fairy or a woodland sprite that wants to bring you a message, or maybe it's your own higher self, or maybe it's the face of the goddess who shows. Maybe it's the face of the stag, the god. It may be an animal, it may be a person, maybe an ancestor. Maybe if you are manifesting true love, maybe it is the soul of your beloved. Or maybe it is you ready to tell you a message from the future. Hmm. Beautiful. Thank your guide. Thank your goddess. Thank your God. Thank whoever it is that has come through for you. And thank yourself for devotion. Thank yourself for devoting this time. Thank yourself for allowing yourself to become. Allow yourself to become. Allow yourself to go into the fruition of who you really are. For who you really are is a sacred, beautiful, sovereign being. So step into that sovereignty ignite that sovereignty take in the divine codes of i am one with the sacred union of who i really am i am one with the sacred union of the divine i am powerful i am love i am light i am a divine sacred being of light I am made of the same thing that stars are made of. I am more than just this physical body. I am spirit, I am essence, I am joy. So if there's any last resistance to the sacredness of you, I want you to let it go. Wash it over with the moon and the moonlight and the starlight and the water. 
let it go. Open up and waken your third eye today, for this is the super crazy, awesome full moon in Scorpio. Open up that psychic development. Open up that psychic sense. Open up to the awareness. Open up your heart. Open up to that crazy, sexy love that is love of self. That juicy love that is only able to come through when you love yourself and love your body and forgive whatever it is you need to forgive for not being perfect. Allow yourself to be authentic and true and kind to yourself. Be whole. As I'm sending out a healing, if you have felt unwhole, take back your wholeness. It is an activation in this moment to be whole, 100% whole, in your sacred union, above and below, in front of you, behind you, to the right of you, to the left of you, and through every cell of your body and through your essence, from the root of your spine to the top of the head, through your fingers and your toes, you take back your wholeness and you are whole. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is done, it is done, it is done. And so it is. And so it is. And so it is. And so take a moment of gratitude for all that you have, all that you already are, all that you will become, all that you will receive. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is done, it is done, it is done, it is done. In this plane, on any other plane, down through every essence of your being, you are one with the light and you are divine. As above, so below, so it is. And take a moment and feel the heartbeat of your brothers and sisters in the circle as we connect in union. And as we open this up, we thank the elements. We thank Spirit for this ability to share in our etheric ritual space. We thank and share this space for we are not separate, we are all one. As we remember that I am divine and so are you. You are divine and so am I. And we are a balance of our masculine divine and our feminine divine as we take this sacred union code of this particular moon, this particular union of as we go into 15 degrees of Scorpio, as we have the Scorpio super full moon, as we ignite the lunar Beltane, the flower moon, we ignite this in ourselves, as within, so without. And so we thank these elements. We thank Spirit. We thank the Lord and the Lady, the God and the Goddess, all the Divine. We thank. And we thank the element of Earth. And we send her healing, Mother Gaia, and Father Sky, we thank the element of water. We thank the element of earth. We thank the element of fire. And we thank the element of air as it leads us to our own sacredness. And we release you as we release and open this circle. But as we open this circle, we know that we are always in the circle, that the circle is open, never broken. And as we take this sacred circle, we take it within us. As we recreate the circle of life, 
for in part of the world we are blooming. One half of the world is starting to bloom and one half of the world is starting to close and go inward for its winter. We understand that this is the circle of life. As we rise and we choose to rise, the circle is open and we choose our power and we choose our divinity and we make our choices and we make our magic. Magical May, Miracle May, Magical Moments. We get to create that. We get to create who we're emerging as. We get to create as we are coming into a new world, a new form, what we choose, what we allow, who we become what we allow into our field. And so I wish for each of you the most sacred of days and the most sacred of nights and the greatest of beauty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is done, it is done, it is done. Ooh, and I release the Hmm, blessed be, blessed be, blessed be brothers and sisters, mostly sisters, I see, but a few brothers on there, and so much love. I see a lot of love, I'll go back and read the messages later, because there was just a lot popping through, and I'm so glad to see some of you, um, some of you I've done sacred ritual with in person, some of you have been members of my soul circle, and some of you are new to my family but you are always in my heart, all of you. And I'm so glad you're here. And for those of you who are watching later, I'm so glad you were able to watch. We're, we're starting to put all of these rituals up on the YouTube channel. So I've got a bunch of meditations on the YouTube channel and um, we're gonna start putting the new the, and the full moon rituals up on YouTube. So if you ever miss them on Facebook or if you have someone who's not on Facebook, they're, they're gonna be on the YouTube channel, Michelle Orwick, um, Master Spiritual Guide, um, YouTube channel. So that's exciting. Um, I did have somebody ask me today, I got a message, and because um, they know I'm starting the Akashic Records class. And so I know you're on, so I'm gonna answer your question rather than message you because it's been a busy day. Um, it is not too late to join the Akashic Records. You have a couple more days, I have not sent out the first set of recordings, although I'm in the middle of recording them. Um, the Kashuk Records class, um, I'll still honor. I did a birthday discount, 50% off. So if you guys wanna join the, this for the last time, it'll be offered at, at $250. Um, I'll, I'll leave it up for the weekend, the $250 Akashic Records special, and the calls will start next Thursday. So the recordings will come out before then and then our first call will be Thursday the 14th. So I'm super excited about that. And I know some of you are already signed up and it's exciting to see all of you. So yeah, we have lots, lots going on. Um, so it's nice to see you. If you jumped on late, go back to the beginning. There's some beautiful codes and clearings and healings and embedded in this transmission. Um, I'm excited to, to be doing this. It's been probably the highlight of my week, um, to do this because with full and new moon, it, it ends up being about twice a month. Then you eight, add the eight holidays in, it gets to be about once a week. So, you know, I'm loving it and I love you. And for all of you that have said thank you, it is truly my pleasure. Um, I was already doing them in, in my private private group and I just made the decision to be able to put this out there for more people and be more accessible during during this time since everybody can't get out and about right now because I know people like to go to their full moon rituals and their new moon rituals and drum circles and, and groups and so so this is just my way of trying to to bring a little bit of joy into the community and and allow us to remember sacred space even when we're alone. I've been calling this the sacred pause. 
and I've been really spending time creating a sacred space within my home and um, doing some energetic housekeeping. I've moved to more meditation than I've ever done. I always meditate. Um, I meditate a lot, but the things that have been dropping in from my from my angels and my guides, I've started channeling Isis and I've started channeling a couple other goddesses. So don't be surprised if there's going to be some, you know, goddess invocations coming out. Um, it's been pretty, pretty unreal for me. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, drop me a message if you have any questions, if there's anything I can do to, um, to help you. I um, moved my big class off this, this month, so I have a little bit of time. I'm taking a couple private clients, so I've got one or two spaces if you wanted to do a coaching program during all of this. Thank you always. Oh, you're welcome. There's one of my coaching sisters right there, my joyful sister birthday sister so um, you know just let me know how I can help and serve and I, I enjoy this I'm having a, a blast being with you all so you're welcome oh, you're welcome and uh, take care of yourself um, if you feel fatigued one of my biggest messages is to refill your cup more often meditate more often but don't just clear actually refill ask the energy to come in to refill your cup um, make sure that you're you're not connecting to the group consciousness as much as you're connecting to the opportunity of joy Re refill yourself with joy refill yourself with your sacred union refill yourself with the opportunity to um, to love to love yourself um, this this is a, this is a chance for this new new reality to become so anchored in your soul you have an opportunity to do something you've never done before which is um, become the best version of you you can't control the world but you can control whether you're becoming the best version of you that you could be Forgive yourself for any habits that you maybe don't like about yourself and decide to create new ones. A way a new habit comes in is a choice and then you anchor it and you make a commitment to yourself and you become something new. So I've created a new morning program during all of this um, that's allowing me to have a more um, it's based my my new morning routines based off the book. Uh, the miracle morning and I'm just loving what it's doing for me so that might be something for you guys to think about um, it's a great time to take more time for meditation um, if you don't know how to meditate um, I've got some nice guided meditations on YouTube if you want to go to there and there's thousands of good meditations on um, many different platforms so hopefully that's um, been helpful. Oh, good, great advice and helpful. Um, just remember that, that the fatigue can go away. It's a choice. Um, when you feel it, honor that you feel fatigued, but then do something to change your energy field. It's all energy, and you can choose to be in your energy or you can choose to let the energy of the people who are are in panic and fear to take over or you can you can make your own choices and you know I make I make a choice every day that um, even when things are rough even when things um, isn't going the way I want it to go I can turn it around like it's it's something as simple as I tried to make dinner tonight and it, you know I didn't get the same kind of of, of product at the grocery store um, so it's making a recipe that's that was different and it turned didn't turn out the way I wanted it to um, but it's turned out differently and instead of being upset about that I went wow did I just create a new recipe <laughs> so you know you just have to ease into what is possible and and um, 
it's all small stuff. Is is it gonna matter to you six months from now? There's a uh, the last thing I'm gonna hand off to you guys is the five minute rule, the five five five. Is it gonna matter five minutes from now? Is it gonna matter five days from now? Is it gonna matter five months from now? Is it gonna matter five years from now? And that has been such an incredible tool. Some people say 10, 10 minutes, 10, 10 days, 10 months, 10 years, but I really like it when I dumb it down to five minutes. So, you know, you do something and you're like mad at yourself for a second and you realize in five minutes, I, it's not even gonna matter. But maybe it is something that matters in five minutes. Maybe it still matters in five days, but is it gonna matter in five months? And maybe some of the things that are happening to you now won't matter in five months, and maybe they will. So you only give the energy to those things that you, you know, need to focus on for five months to five years. And the rest of it's small stuff, small potatoes, out of your control. But what you can do is choose. You can choose to get into a better mood. You can choose, like to give yourself some grace you can choose to give yourself some love and my favorite thing to do right now is forgive forgive myself for making a choice or not making a choice but then choose to do what i really wanted to do and that's dedication that's commitment so literally daily i've started making three daily commitments to myself and they're different every day what am i committing to today and then I follow through with that. And I've been making three bigger picture things I'm committing to per week, things I want to accomplish in a week. And, and goodness knows, if I don't get it done by like Friday, I'm starting to scramble Friday afternoon. <laughs> you know, if I've got one of those things still not on my plate, um, off my plate, I mean. So what, what you want to do is take this time to just remember who you are. Who you are and who you are is a divine sovereign being. You are the divine incarnate. You are love. You are the God or goddess. And, and my favorite term, and I've told my students this time and time again, but I'm gonna remind you, would the goddess be acting the way you're acting or thinking the way you're thinking? So, or if you're, you're a guy, would, would the God, would God be allowing this stuff to get to you? No. You know, the goddess would be like not sweating the small stuff. She would change what she could change. She would stay in her own personal power. She would make the effects that she could make and she'd move forward and she would do what she can. And that's how we do it. We do what we can do and we let go of everything else. So sweet brothers and sisters, I love you. And um, I'm pretty sure we have on the schedule a new moon ritual coming up um, the night before the new moon. And so it's kind of um, gonna become a tradition at least for the next couple months. We'll see how long it goes. I have a couple of really awesome surprises coming for you next week. Um, Theta Healing is coming online. I'm finally gonna be able to teach basic Theta Healing online. Um, and I have a special program I'm doing with my soul sister, Lisa Tony, And um, then I have another uh, goddess offering coming out with my, my beautiful sisters um, that we used to do the goddess gatherings at Cole. So we're doing an online goddess gathering for midsummer. So there's lots of lovely things coming, coming your way. Um, as I try and make this new, um, you know, world um, so much easier with internet because now I can connect to people that are anywhere. But it is an adjustment, of course, for everybody. So um, please send me a private message if there's something you know that um, I could do a little better or that I could help you with. So brightest blessings i love you i love you all so much have a beautiful full moon happy scorpio full moon happy super moon 
happy lunar lunar beltane and um, just be blessed mm.